Welcome back to Dobre Cars everyone, where fast is a lifestyle. Today we have a super fun, super amazing race in store. We have Marcus and Cyrus going head to head. The Porsche GT2 RS against Cyrus' Ferrari 812 super fast. Let's see what happens. Comment down below who you think will win. Thank you so much if you subscribe. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Let's get this race started. We got some other crazy videos coming up, so stay tuned. I don't think I've ever seen this race online, honestly. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it's definitely gonna be a good race. Um, got a GT2 RS here. A12 super fast. You ready? I'm trying to look clean when I cross that finish line. That's all I gotta say. And ah! Finish uh, line together, you know, because at the end they were brothers. We'll see what happens. Like Dari said, like Lucas said, we've never seen this race online. So we're gonna put these cars head to head. Both amazing, fast supercars. Both sexy supercars. And we'll see what happens. Uh, the numbers, Marcus, if you wanna start, go ahead with the specs. Yeah, so GT2 RS has 690 horsepower, weighing 3,200 pounds. Um, but the only thing about this, I, like, it does have a lot of downforce, so I don't know how it's gonna do against the A12. The A12 has better arrow for straight lines, so this is more of a track focused car. Yeah, very important for me. This car has 789 horsepower. It weighs 3,300 pounds dry, but with fluids, 3,800 pounds. Also, depending on how much gas I have today, I'm a little lower on gas, which is good for me because I'll save weight. But, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how much gas you got? I don't know, we have to see, but. We gotta put some money on it, right? Really I don't know. important though, really important for me because I have so much power to the real wheels. Um, I really have to catch traction today. It's a little chilly out, so I have to make sure I warm the tires. This, different from the engine placement from the GT2 RS, the engine's in the front, like Enzo Ferrari said himself. The bull has to pull the wagon. So this is Ferrari truly in his DNA. So we'll see how it performs today. Both have amazing aero. Marcus has a little more downforce, yeah. right? But you are a lot lighter. You are a lot lighter. So we'll see how the power can be put down on both cars. We really don't know what's gonna happen. It could be tied. It could be close. I think it's gonna be close. I don't know. We'll see. It's gonna be good. We have German track versus Italian muscle. Like I said, comment down below who you guys think is gonna win. What do you think is gonna happen in this race, Steve? Well, bro, honestly, I couldn't miss this race. We have two great contenders. Both have a lot of good differences and equate, which equate to, I think about, roughly similar speed so it's gonna be interesting i think the gt2 rs is gonna be very strong off the gate uh it's probably gonna be able to grip pretty well i think what's gonna happen though probably around 125 miles an hour that's when we're really gonna have to see where they both stand it's, that's where the test comes in because the a12 has more of an aerodynamic body like how marcus was saying i think it's gonna be able to come in in a little bit in, in in that aspect and we'll see how good the downforce plays on the gt2 rs i just believe germans got the crazy you know wizardry so i think the gt2 could edge it uh ultimately but we'll see guys it it, it could be anyone's fight today so or anyone's win it's gonna be really interesting and as you guys know i had mclaren for the longest time i switched over to ferrari and I have had a little bit of a chance to practice with the shifting. What I love about the Ferrari is when you shift the LED lights, a perfect shift is when it shows two blue lines. Um, so we're definitely going to do a 50 roll, probably second gear. Um, we've seen many races online that do third gear, but second gear is where the true horsepower starts. And we're going to go from there and see what happens. And we're going to do it on a safe track. It is prepped. It is blocked off for us, one of our home tracks here. And we're doing everything legally. so. Everyone be safe, let's have some fun, and this is what we're passionate about. So I guess whatever you guys think is next for comparison, we'll do it. We're going with the flow. Are we able to see the engine of the A12? I know it has a huge, uh, it's a 6.5 liter, right? V12 in it. So. Liter, yeah, so the F12 TDF was 6.3 liter, and they upped the engine even bigger, 6.5 liter V12. This right now, I believe, is one of the most powerful, naturally aspirated V12 engines, and soon will be coming the A12 successor. We'll see what they do with that one, but this is right now one of the kings of the road. Same as the GT2 RS, but let me show you guys the engine. I got a V6 in mind. Nah, no, just kidding. Classic. V6 is crazy. <laughs> you can't ever say that out loud ever again. Isn't it in the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just showing it. Look yeah, how so close that is, Marcus. I'm almost touching your paint. Start the engines. I want to hear them. Let's you know? do. A, yeah, let's do a sound comparison to see which one sounds better. Whoa! What Huge. is that? That looks insane. Oh, the engine's about like four feet long. <laughs> oh my That's god. Insane. Yeah, Ferrari said himself, 
you know, you're really paying for the engine, everything else is just a bonus, so. That's true. It's gonna be really cool when my Revolto comes in because that engine is gonna be in the back. So it's gonna be cool to see how these different brands position their engines and how they look. One in the front, one in the rear. It's gonna be super cool. Yeah, we can't wait to see when the Revolto comes in to put that car against these cars to see how it performs. So that's gonna be exciting. And if you haven't seen what the Revolto looks like, here's a picture right here. Nero Nemesis, matte black. It's gonna be sick. We got a special surprise too in a couple weeks, so make sure you guys subscribe. All right, let's see how these cars sound. See what the A12 is doing. Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! What do you mean warm up? It sounds insane. It's a sound battle. Oh, I, got, I get like chills. I love B12s. Yeah. I love B12s. Oh. Dude, that was insane. Yeah. Both cars sound amazing though. I'm excited to put them head to head on the street, see who's faster. That's what matters. Wow. Whoa. It sounded like an F1 car, bro. Yo, these cars are insane. Bro, that's sick. That's wow. so sick. Whoa. G Wagon. Nah, G Wagon's fresh, bro. <laughs> it's like, nah. You beep, you beep, you beep. Perfect shifts too. Catching him towards the higher speeds, but I think he got the jump. I don't know what he think. Did he, he think nah, yeah. So? Yo, do you guys want to try it one more time? cars are beasts man i don't know what you guys thought of the results like it was pretty head to head yeah with these yeah. like with these cars the shift really matters if you early shift you're losing you know if you i don't know but it was it was pretty 
pretty dead even on a lot of the races. I, I don't know what you guys saw from the results, but I was focused, Marcus. I don't know about you. I, I think the passengers can tell us what happened. Yeah, yeah. my point of view is pretty neck and neck. Like Sala said, whoever, if you miss a shift, maybe someone will keep up a little, but they're pretty neck to neck in my opinion. Yeah. Maybe obviously if you go past 170, 180, different result, but no one's doing that. That's crazy. That was that's, awesome. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Good job. All right, so I guess we'll just keep the money then. I guess it was a tie in a way. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I guess uh, you viewers out there, you're the judges of this race. What do you think happened? Which one's your favorite car? And what is your dream car? We love you guys so much. We're Fastest Lifestyle. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.